Today's world is faced with more problems than at any other point in human history. Not only in terms of the amount of problems we face, but also the complexity of those problems. Experts have been warning us for several years now that machines able to outperform humans at any task could leave half of the world's population unemployed as early as the year 2035. Computer scientist Moshe Vardy suggested at a recent meeting of the American Association for the Advancement of Science that self-driving cars will replace truck drivers, drones could replace delivery workers, and even sex workers might soon find themselves out of a job. And this automating of labor is not limited to blue-collar professions. Recent advances mean that AI can now produce intellectual and creative works that match or exceed human quality. Deep learning data analysis can diagnose rare medical conditions, and algorithms can write news stories, music, and even poetry approximating every nuance of an artistic mind. With all the economic, social, and climactic changes ahead, perhaps it's time for a novel approach to leadership. Here are some points to consider. In the 1990s, we had a president who did have sexual relations with that woman, and was thusly impeached for lying about it under oath. With a machine, the likelihood of extramarital affairs in the Oval Office drops to zero. In fact, sex scandals, harassment, or discrimination of any kind becomes a non-issue. It's an underappreciated fact about flawed humans. It may seem like a joke, but eating Pop-Tarts can influence your decision making. A study conducted by an Israeli university found that judges increase their likelihood of granting parole after consuming a meal. On average, judges granted parole about 65% of the time to prisoners who appeared before them after having breakfast. But by the end of a morning session, the chance of a prisoner being released dropped to near zero. After the same judges returned from a lunch break, the first prisoner once again had a 65% chance at freedom. And once again, the odds of getting parole declined steadily. In the average adult human, the brain represents roughly 2-3% of body weight, but consumes 20% of the body's energy. According to the researchers, making difficult decisions burdens your mental powers. As your glucose gets used up and you get tired, you start getting sloppy and your ability to make good decisions suffers. So you're more likely to make impulsive mistakes based on low blood sugar. The implication here is obvious. This kind of thing wouldn't happen with a machine president. Plug it in, and it would make consistent, executive decisions without the need for a Snickers bar. One of the biggest flaws with human leadership has always been that we're selfish animals. An artificial intelligence would base its decisions entirely on relevant facts about a topic, and choose the most appropriate answer based on logic. So a robot president could display pure altruism. It wouldn't be susceptible to special interest groups or personal desires. For example, IBM's Watson technology utilizes cloud-based machine learning inspired by how humans reason through problems, except minus the emotional bias. The fact is, almost every bad decision in life is an emotional one. Our insecurities and egos more often than not have a tendency to overcome the rational part of our brains. In the world of advanced AI, there's no algorithm for ego. But even if developers manage to create one for some reason, it could be excluded. Supporters of Watson believe that its algorithmic intelligence makes it uniquely qualified to assess vast amounts of data and make informed and transparent decisions on all issues, ranging from education to foreign policy. Even a handful of human presidential candidates have expressed some interest in a supercomputer running the government, highlighting a number of benefits AI has over its human counterparts. Of course, I would be remiss not to mention some of the issues that would need to be overcome. Chief among them is the very real existential threat posed to mankind that several high-profile academics and entrepreneurs have warned about. According to Tesla CEO Elon Musk, advanced AI could be more dangerous than nukes. In 2015, famous physicist Stephen Hawking suggested it could lead to the end of humanity. Many AI experts have suggested that the way to address this threat is to create human-like AI that is capable of empathy. Researchers are already working on methods to do this, with recent reports outlining how ethics could be installed into robots by teaching them how to read books. As things stand now, the risk of letting AI take office are huge, especially with fears of foreign hacking. The reality, though, is that future AI more radically advanced than Watson will make far less errors than human politicians, making the change likely inevitable.